Say, Rommel! What the hell are you doing up there? Well, I'm thinking of jumping, aren't I? Unless, of course, you can get Emily Bishop round to try and talk me out of it. Well, get your flaming skates on. Pete will think we've got lost. You've, uh, you've not seen him yet, then? No, I said we'd pick him up at his house. Oh, aye, and when did he come to that arrangement, then? Last night, at the disco, when you were so flaming conspicuous by your absence. Now, are you coming, or what? Look, uh, I'm feeling dog rough. I think I've got a touch of the uh, flu or summer. Uh, I'll try and catch up a bit later, all right? Well, hang on, how much later? So, gone back to Sherwood without you then, have they? You merry men. That's right. What's up with him today, then? Well, that, as you say, Betty Love is the, um... Yay. <laughs> you? No, I've got a funny feeling. Hello. Hello. Can I have half a bitter for me, please, and a vodka and tonic for each? Oh, excuse me a minute, love. And uh, how's the video of Well, did you catch up with him? The fellow with the bloodshot look in his eyes, he was asking after you this morning. And who the hell's that, then? Alec Gilroy. Well, weren't you supposed to ship some stuff for him this morning? Only he was in my shop and he was steaming, cos none of you lot had turned up. Oh, I see. Well, who did you think I meant? I had no idea who the hell you meant, had I? Excuse me. Well, you're a lap a minute today. Well, 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 if it's not our little invalid. Miss me, have you? Not so as you notice. How are you feeling, Anna? Well, you know, still a bit frayed round the edges, isn't it? Well, that's what you get for having an early night. So, uh, everything's under control then? <laughs> Just about. My wife's not speaking to me this morning, mind, but apart from that. You've uh, been a naughty boy, have you? So she reckon. I'm afraid I can't really remember. <laughs> still, you cope then? Yeah, it's mine. It is now, I reckon. I can see it. So, well, uh, I'll see you two a bit later on then. All right. You what? Well, look, I'm still not feeling 100%, am I? I've got a bug or something. Funny, he hasn't travelled as far as your supping arm. Look, supping's one thing, innit? Humping great big heavy jukeboxes is something else. Come on, girl, we can manage. You get off home and get your head down, mate. Cheers, Pete. Good to know somebody around here still cares. Yeah, only he doesn't know you the way I know you, does he? See you later, mate, all right? Right, Pete. You're up to something, you, aren't you? Well, me? You. Yes, you. Definitely. Up to something. Why didn't you tell him then? Who says I didn't? You were worried about me, weren't you? What he might do to me. Don't flatter yourself. So then why? Because. Just be thankful that I didn't, that's all. Only, uh, don't go jumping to any wrong conclusions, eh? And what conclusions might then be? You feel the same way as I do. My God, but you're sure of yourself, aren't you? Anything but. No very proud of myself, as a matter of fact. Yeah, what? Look, that does happen to be my best mate out there. You know, the lad that saved my scalp more than once. Then what the hell are you doing here, then? You know why. Because I can't bloody well help myself. Any more than you can, I reckon. You've got no right to say that to me, Terry. Absolutely Linda, no right. you think I can't tell? Oh, yeah, experience, No, me. no, I'm not. Not at this. Look, what I'm trying to tell you is that I've never, ever felt like this about anybody before, ever. And don't think it's a great new experience, neither. Because it's not. Anything but. God. Tell me something, Terry. What is it about me? Tell me what it is about me. Go on. I don't know what you mean. I'm all about me, Terry, and men. All the men I've ever known. Don't think I mean that way either. Because despite what you might think, there have never been any. 
ever. I believe that. Do you? Well, there's a novelty, because most men don't. Have you any idea what it's like living in married quarters? Here one year, there the next, and being somebody who does just happen to believe that as a woman the least she should do is make a bit of an effort with herself. They have names for girls like that, you know, Terry. The lads. That's what I'm trying to tell you, Linda. It's not like that with me. Oh, yeah, gay or something, are we, Terry? I didn't say it. I didn't fancy it, did I? And don't talk about yourself like that. Let go of me. just want you to go. Now. We need to talk. What's there to talk about? I'm a married woman, the wife of your best friend. I just want you out of here now. You're frightened, aren't you? Never. Me too. I just want you to go. Please, Terry. Please don't. worried about me, have you? Well, we thought you'd gone to bed. How do you mean? Well, according to your mum, you've been out all afternoon. Well, you've been checking up on me, have you? Oh, well, we thought you'd just left an address, you know, somewhere we can send the money to that we've been earning for you all afternoon. You know, I think you've been hanging around that woman far too long, Curly. What woman? Emily Flaming Bishop. We're going to sound like her. Gloria, can I have a pint, please? All right. Mm. Down the road. Listen, there's a great party going on. Are you going to come down or what? Just for half an hour? No, I, I don't Why not? I've just got a bit of bad idea, that's all. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. Well, do you mind if I stay for about half an hour or so? No, stay as long as you want. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, I'll see you later then. All right. Ta-ra. Bye. <laughs> 